Welcome back to Indy Now. Taking care of our loved ones is always important, and that's why we love checking in with our friends and sponsors from Westminster Village North here to help with us with that. We have Laura Roman, yes. who's actually feeling fabulous because if you were with us at the beginning of the show, she was our Ivy Drip model. Yeah, you're feeling okay. <laughs> I feel Good? great. Good. I feel great. You're Fantastic. awesome, Laura. <laughs> Thank you for being here. We appreciate that. We appreciate that we're going to do some lyrical lightning with you coming up. Yeah, yeah. because you sponsor sponsors. that game. Yes. Thank you so much for sponsoring that. You're so welcome. So yeah. much fun. But we we have to also talk a little bit more about what you do because I know assisted living, it can sometimes be confusing because people are like, what does that entail? So how do you describe it? You know, th that's the biggest question I get is people saying, okay, my mom is 80 years old. Mm -hmm. I think she needs assisted living. Mm -hmm. Well, no, not necessarily. Right. Let's right. talk about what's involved with assisted living. And really it's a, it's a residential um, community mm -hmm. that is supported by nursing care. Mm. Now that nursing care might include um, people who come in and help you with your showering, sure. with going to the bathroom, um, with taking your medications, mm -hmm. etc. So that's assisted living. And that's, yeah, that's what it's all about, the, the nursing part, but also even just other services that you provide, the mm -hmm. meals. Mm -hmm. There's meals. There's housekeeping. You know, many times people, and we've really seen this through the pandemic, people have been isolated in their homes. Mm -hmm. Family members don't necessarily know what's going on with mom and dad. Yes. And then when they discover that mom's not taking her medication as she should or not eating nutritiously, of course, those are foundations to good health. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Uh, just in my own experience with my family, with mm -hmm. some with some seniors that we've had, especially my grandfather, as he aged, we wanted to make sure that we kept Papa having his dignity as he yes. aged, and that's really important as you yes. have this conversation. And a question for you, Laura, that I would have is, how do you involve uh, the guest or or the resident yes. in that conversation? Because yeah. that can be a little hard too. It can be very very difficult. Um, most people say, "Oh no, I don't want to leave my home of 50 years." Mm. And, and their loved ones, as you might have experienced, are really saying, but they're not safe. And mm -hmm. we, as family members, can't be there with them all yeah. the time to provide yeah. that care. Um, honestly, part of the, the whole transition has to do with making the, the person feel comfortable with their new environment. Yeah. Maybe that means introducing them to some of the nursing staff, some mm. of the activities, maybe another resident as well. Yeah. These are all things that can help to smooth that transition and make it a little bit easier mm -hmm. for them. That's I great. know it's a tough transition, but a lot of times the good news is, as we're seeing pictures of the facility, mm -hmm. it can kind of be this whole other chapter, you know, of, of finding new friends and just kind of almost getting a, a burst of energy from, from the social activity. So what can they expect when they come to a facility like Westminster? Honestly, that is the greatest gift because people meet others who maybe went to the same school or had yeah. the same profession or raised children at the same time. And what happens is they become a community community in and of themselves. Mm. They be, they have new friends. And as we get older, it's not always easy to make new friends, mm -hmm. especially if we have mobility challenges, mm -hmm. etc. How early is too early to get started on this important conversation? Oh my gosh, it's, it, you know, when you start to notice some changes with mm -hmm. mom or dad, yeah. or when you they might have a, a diagnosis of something, a serious disease or something, that's the time to start looking. But one thing I wanna make sure that I, I share is the important thing is looking not only for assisted living, mm -hmm. but what's the next step? Right. I mean, honestly, right. you, you wanna know that if their health needs were to increase, continue to increase, where would they go next? Mm. There are a lot of standalone assisted living communities. They're beautiful and they're wonderful. Mm -hmm. But, um, and making that choice might be the right choice. I think that though knowing where they where your loved one would go mm. if yeah. their needs increase is really an important part of the program. That is such a good point. Laura, thank you so much for all this valuable information. Yeah. We always love hearing from you about this. And I know still to come, as promised, Laura's jumping in, playing Lyrical Lightning with Ryan and I. You ready? I, I hope so. All right. I hope I don't embarrass 